All right, let's go see good old Sem. And wow, it's, he's what? holding back a laugh already. <laughs> Sounds like uh, it's a busy place. I hope they won't bite. That depends. Who are you? Um, right. Hello, I'm Yanni. I'm the city's new technician. Good day, Yanni. I'm afraid there's nothing for you to fix in the kennels. Yet, here I am. You are Sem, right? That's what they call me. Why are you here if it's not about maintenance? People don't come here often. Can't say I have many regrets about it. He is a dog person after all. Wasn't Lev a frequent guest? So that's what this is about. In a way, you could say he was. Elaborate, please. I've noticed people in the city have this weird habit of holding on to what they know as if it was their dearest treasure. He wasn't my guest. He came here because of the dogs. Oh, I thought you were friends, or at least on friendly terms. No, he was friends with the dogs. People assume that we were because we were both shunned company, but that is where the similarities end. I see, but you two must have spoken at least occasionally. I told you, neither of us is a people person. I'm a dog person. He's a... Uh, he's lost in himself. He's a collar person. <laughs> Still, you've spent hours with him. You must know something that could help me find him. Lev must have said something. What did he do when he was here? I don't know, guys. What do you think? What do you think we're going with here? This song reminds me of something, and I can't think of it. A lot of the songs sound kind of familiar in this game. Just reminiscent of very uh, fantasy-oriented things. Yeah, I'm not sure where to place it though. Honestly, I can't recall. That little dun, 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 that's the spin part. Mm-hmm. The oh, second right. option. Says second. What did he do when he was here? That was a good point. He did say he came here for the dogs. Or not for the dogs, but I guess just to get away from people. Second, second, second! Alright, everyone's in favor of the second that's voted so far. We're going with the second. Lev came here often. If he didn't speak, what did he do? He just played with the dogs? <laughs> That's what I would do. Pretty much. He got them tired, loosened their discipline, loosened their discipline. Encouraged them to jump, tug, fetch things, and that's why they bark like this now. Now they won't shut up. Mm -hmm. The dogs liked it. I was not a fan, personally. Why did you allow it? You must have heard the stories about love. He is obsessed with an idea and spoke mostly to himself. Babbled, I should say, and I guess the dogs were the only ones that would listen. With the dogs, he calmed down. He seemed almost normal. Oh, that's good. He's like a therapy dog. He was as happy as Lev could get nowadays. I didn't like it, but denying him those bits of sanity would have been cruel. I see. Do you remember anything else that could help me find him? Why don't you just wait for him to come back? I heard it has been almost two weeks since he went missing. His wife is worried. Please. I saw him ten days ago or so. As I was walking my dogs, he was even less coherent than usual. No wonder, though. He looked as if he had been run over by a sleigh. Really? Yeah, I remember. He was all bruised. Oh, yeah, that day we saw him, he was bloodied up and bruised. It didn't occur to you to help him? Would you let me finish? Oh, snap. Lev came from Galen's greenhouse. I assumed the doctor wouldn't let him go if there was any real danger. But you said he wasn't lucid. As usual in his case, he looked badly beaten, but my main worry was the dogs. Love has a bad influence on them. He even taught them to lie. Why? What? How do you teach a dog how to lie? Why? Yes, they become outright deceptive. Oh no! Oh, that, I was trying to think, like, wasn't there something about dogs lying before? And it was like something you showed me on Reddit, it was like a picture, like, like the dog he was like sleeping in his bed and he's like oh but the dog wouldn't admit that he was sleeping in the bed oh yeah so that's what it kind of remind me of like i heard that before ha i didn't intentionally peg you as someone wait initially i didn't initially peg you as someone to be fooled by a madman trained puppy <laughs> please stop making that face i'm just playing with you your dog seemed to like it though they're not mine. I take care of them, but they belong to the families. And of course they like Lev. Just as children like the grandparent who spoils them. 
I can see it's a sensitive <laughs> issue for you. He, he takes this very personally. Lev didn't seem to understand them. He harmed the pack. It drove me mad. When he's away, my work is so much easier. So forgive me if I'm not helpful. I don't pay much attention to what happens outside of my kennels, and I'd rather not get involved. Take your investigation elsewhere. Wait. How do we get him to uh, tell us more? Flattery or I don't or think flattery reason? would work. Yeah, he's not the kind of guy to like flattery. And there was something we did with Galen with him that he was... He liked it when we were to the point. Yeah. So I don't think flattery would be something he'd appreciate very much. But as is usual, you guys get to put a say in this. So I'm going to take a drink myself. I'm going to dance to the music. Dance this epic music. It is beautiful. It always helps when you have a nice soundtrack. So it's definitely a good thing. The puppies are dancing too. Mm -hmm. Sing them. Yeah, reason is the way to go to this one. The second option here. Ooh, I am glad we're in agreement. That's always a good thing. He will listen to reason. I understand your need for solitude, but think about it. We're cut off from the entire world for the winter, protected only by a thin barrier. A very, very thin barrier. And it's really, really cold. Lev was unstable and obviously up to something. If his plans concern the city, wouldn't you want to know? Yeah, we really don't know what he was up to. Anything could have happened. Judging by his frequent disappearing acts, there might be a secret exit somewhere. Fine. This might be nothing, but... Yes? Oh my god, is he gonna start bleeding too? Lev smelled. Oh, okay. Well, I'm sure he did. Excuse <laughs> me? The dog smelled something on him. He acted strangely, even for himself. And it wasn't just the beating that caused it. You mean he could have ingested a drug of some sort? Uh, did we give him something at our office to calm him down? No, I think we were going to and we didn't. We had an option to, but we didn't. That's true. No idea. He could have. Oh, oh! Dogs, calm down. Oh no, what if the dogs are going to attack him? Oh no, poor son. I don't mean to be rude, but it's feeding time. Oh, they're just hungry. Okay. <laughs> Routine is important to the dogs. The dogs have a very tight schedule. I see they've gotten used to it. I'll let myself out. <laughs> oh, just one more thing. Why to give up on people? Could dogs be used to track Lev? I want to ask the second one because I really think... I thought that before. But if they belong to the families, then we probably can't use them. Probably not. Oh, that's a good point. We could either try to use them to find Lev, which isn't a guarantee, or we could try to get to know him better and maybe gain his trust. I don't know. And there could be a good reason for why he doesn't trust people anymore. It could have to do with the families and something with the city. Not sure where to go with on this one. Yeah, this doesn't seem like a very trust trusting place. Like, I don't think I would like people very much over here. I'm pretty sure he's going to say that he doesn't have the authority to use the dogs to track Lev. Mm -hmm. And that we'd have to ask someone else. He's probably going to say no. Istvar. Istvar might say yes. He might? Use the dogs if they know Lev, they know his scent. That's true. I'm just not sure if he'd be able to get control over them. But what if he, like, pretended to lose one and we followed it? <laughs> he probably isn't going to risk that. But it might be worth a shot. We'll see what other people say. So we got one for the dogs, two for the dogs? I think. Any more votes? Let's see what comes in. Yeah, it makes sense. I guess we could try. But if you ask why he gave up on people, that would give more insight on him and others. That's true. That's where I was leaning towards. Alright, I'll give it a few more seconds because responses are still coming in. I'm also wondering if like the things I say also persuade people as the decision goes on. Because I didn't think about that. <laughs> but I guess, for now, we're going to stick with... Uh, the dog option? Because it looks like you two. First. Oh. Mm. Just as I was about to say it, it was just tied up. So now it's pretty much even between the first and second choice. And you are leaning towards which one? The first one? I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know either. 
I originally was for the dogs, but then I was like, but maybe he would have no power. Both are good points. Yeah, they both have their merit. It just depends on what happens. Because, you know, it's hard to tell beforehand. Hindsight's 2020, they say. Like, we should make a save. That is a good point. Because the dogs would be really helpful, but I'm just... I don't think we're going to get Wait, to be able to use Wait, what was it called? Them. Was it called Wag the Dog? Is it? Hold on. Wag the dog, it Wag is. Dog. <laughs> that's that's funny, I'm glad we saved here. Sticking with dog, so it is still tied. So we have to cast the deciding vote. What say we? I think we're gonna be split. We're split? Yeah. Ourselves, you mean? Yeah, I think you wanna ask the first and I wanna ask the second. Oh, man. That's true, but maybe because he didn't care. He doesn't like Lev. That's another thing then. Maybe since he doesn't like Lev, he doesn't want to help find him. All right, let's just do the first then. I've convinced her to give in to my way. Ha ha ha. It was cute. Just one more thing. Why did you give up on people? Now it's probably gonna be the wrong option, but you can all blame me, so it's fine. <laughs> Who says I did? You chose these dogs' company over man's. I can understand keeping away from people. Most are not worth the effort, but some of us honestly wish well. If you ever need help, all you need to do is ask. Oh. That's kind of you. You assume someone has harmed me, though. It's sweet that you see me more as a victim than a perpetrator. Uh-oh. 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 Sweet. I merely wanted to let you know you have nothing to worry about from me. Has it ever occurred to you that I might be the one to worry about? Not with this laughing face. If, I've, if I'm isolated from people, I can't harm them. I've done enough to consider it a good idea. That's why you're solitary? Because you hurt someone? Yeah, but if you have hurt someone and now you've isolated yourself so you don't hurt people again, then it sounds like you are good because you're trying to avoid harming people. So then that's a good thing in your favor, isn't it? Or because people ask stupid, stupid questions. Goodbye, Yanni. Ha, see you soon, Sam. I'm not sure what that did. We might have built up a bit of rapport, but I can't tell for sure. When I heard Slava's frightened voice speaking with Galen, I didn't think she could run su such a successful business. It's so lively in here, really. Back home, places like this were cultural centers. Here, I'll probably be lucky if I get some beer and greasy food. <laughs> Hello, Yanni. Nice to see you're back to health. It's all a part of the local culture. Pardon me, but do we know each other? Well, everyone knows you, but you don't know many. How many newcomers do you think we get during the dead season? I'm Slava. I'm sorry I can't greet you properly, but we've pretty, we're have pretty we pretty crowded tonight, and my kitchen staff has left for the true winter. I need to make sure there's enough stew and beer for everyone. Oh, don't worry about it. The smell alone is enough to make me feel welcome. Food tastes better when you enjoy it in the company of others. Pick a table to join. I'll bring you something to eat in a minute. Very well, then. There's a free spot at Laura's table, though we may have gotten off on the wrong foot. Laura's table. Oh, yes. Well, she didn't seem that bad after we kind of got to know her a little bit. I think Slava was sitting with Laura as well. I haven't had the chance to speak to her about her husband yet, so now may be a good time. Are we going to get the choice to decide whether to sit with her or not? There's a second free Oh, this looks there. like an option, so get ready, people. Right next to, isn't she the caravan driver? Oh, and we didn't get to talk to her the other time, yeah, so, so maybe, maybe it's time we should. We should. I think she's drinking with the captain of the guard. I owe her ah. my thanks, and it might be interesting to hear their thoughts. All right, so it's between two people either way. So, we have a decision. What say you guys? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say anything this time. I'll let yes. people decide on their own. I'm being quiet. But ah hey, there's no reason to attack me. <laughs> Just because I didn't choose the dogs last time. Don't have to attack me. But yeah, I mean it's just one of those things. Certain decisions, you know, it's it'd be too easy if it went right. So I feel like if we did choose the dogs, it just wouldn't have worked out either mm. way. I guess. The caravan driver. Well, I will say, that's one I was favoring, because we didn't You're get to talk to them last time. Yet. Well, someone already voted, and it's going to take 15 more seconds before they hear that at least. So, see, now someone else has voted. Caravan and the guard, second choice, yes. See, I didn't influence it that time. And say thanks, I did that's good. them too. 
All right, I guess we're all in favor of the caravan, pilot, and the guard. All right, let's do it. You must be Yakone, the caravan driver. Thank you. I really like the way she looks for some reason. Yeah, I like her hair. It's like just very realistic looking, and I like it. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess the others are too, but her in particular, I feel. What for? You saved my life when you found me in the snow. I owe you much more than thanks, but let's start with that. <laughs> oh, you owe me nothing. And contrary to what those idiots in the tribes would say, I am not responsible for you. <laughs> for some reason, the guard looks so impatient. He like, always Let's does. get on with this already. I'm trying to eat here. Aren't you from the tribes? You dress after their fashion. So is it Yakone? That's what... I, I don't know. Maybe that's the proper pronunciation. I don't know. Yakone is in her rebellious stage. Young, brilliant, and ready to attack anything you say. That's a load of crap. See? Have you met Cassia the Wise already? He's the head of the town's guard. He should protect us, but instead he prefers to ridicule. Forces help us if he's a bleh. Forces help us if he's as good with a sword as he is with a joke. <laughs> I see you have a battle going on here. It's our way of killing time. Instead of each other. Well, I guess that's a positive at least. It's nice to finally meet you, Yanni. Have a beer with us. The best brew ended last week, but this'll do. At night, the wind sang louder than the dome hums a tune. As the snow grows thicker on the walls, it soaks up more and more of our hope. That's positive. So we gather and drink to return the warmth, and wait for the tides to turn after solstice passes. You can feel the mood already, can't you? Hmm. Yeah, so of course, that's even further proof that it must be wintertime. That's what the solstice refers to. Winter solstice, presumably. I've never been really good at small talk. Oh, three choices, guys. I wonder if it's going to result in another tie, like last time. No. <laughs> Anything interesting in the dead season? Anything new on love? And how did you end up here? Well, it could be... Oh, okay, I won't say anything. I know, I see Emily's creeping towards me, giving me dirty looks. Like, you better not say anything or else you're getting attacked again. He does seem nicer than last time. Oh, you mean, uh... How do you pronounce his name? I don't know. You say it better than I do, though. I say Cassia, but I don't Cassia. know if that's right. I think Cassia does sound better. Like, Cassia? I'm like, I don't know. Cassia. Yeah, that's a good way to call him. He does seem nicer. He's more pleasant. Maybe it's because he's in the bar having a drink and is comfortable. Mm -hmm. The first option. Yeah, just be kind of a smooth talker. Anything interesting? What's going on right now? <laughs> Not trying to inquire or look like I'm nosy or anything like that. Yeah, and I guess it depends, like, how drunk he is, how much he would tell us. That's true. She doesn't look pleased to see us, though. She never looks I just happy. noticed her expression. She, her face reminds me of the actress that played, um, one of the Cylons. Oh, yes, in Balster Galactica. Yeah. The, uh... I don't know her that name. That one girl. Her nickname was like Boomer. That's all I remember. Oh, I remember her actual name. Yeah, and I don't know the actress's name, but she, she's on... Um, I but there were two, because there's Cylons. Boomer and then... went Because, spoilers, there's Cylons and there's multiple ones. And one was like Athena, mm -hmm. I think. So, yeah. First option is uh, the one that we're going to go with, it looks like. Okay. Yeah, she does look like her. That's true. Right? She looked familiar to me as well. So I gather not much goes on during the dead season. I guess it depends on what you're looking for. It's dull as a ceremonial knife. Wait a couple of weeks and things will become more interesting, if that's what you prefer. Everyone will go slightly mad because of the isolation, obsessions, petty aggression, claustrophobia, kala kala kala. Learn to enjoy the calm while it lasts. You're getting old, friend, and boring. I used to seek war in action just for the sake of it. If nobody paid me to fight, I quarreled for free. I even had a bet with a friend about who could get more scars. I was stupid enough to pry myself for winning. Oh, that's something to be proud of, though. Your skin looks pretty fine to me from here. Maybe it's just his uh, torso or whatever. So take it from me. Quiet moments are not all that bad. Stop your nonsense, Cassia. I suppose you consider yourself wise. Good thing your word doesn't matter here. 
Luckily, it still matters more than yours. You don't only really give voice to brutal force. I told you, the tyranny of the fittest is never a good idea. Oh, who should have a say then? Those crazy bastards obsessing over Kala- wait, there's more than one? Well, we do know that multiple people know about Kala and they each have their own interpretation. That's so true. I guess it makes sense that uh, That's true. he wouldn't be the only one obsessed with it. There might be more people. Locals are no better. They want magic to guide them. It's just weakness wrapped in superstition. You can't know that for sure. Are you blind? Even the mystical Kala was created by the families. They had the means to force most citizens into obedience, but some still resisted. This was their solution. Just coming up with this Kala thing? A myth to give hope, an idea to distract the wisest from feeding their ideas to the crowd. It motivated, addicted, gave purpose. A tool crafted out of empty tales. Your tribes believe that Kala is real. A force of nature, they say. Some scholars even claim it's a crystal with unusual properties. So is it like the force from Star Wars? Is it the mystical crystals from Final Fantasy? What the heck is this Kala thing? I also heard an herbalist saying Kala is nothing but a word conveying huge power to those who know how to unlock it. Or is it Rosebud? You don't truly believe the implausible tales he tells, do you? Such things do not exist. Tell him. I don't know. I have little knowledge on this. Hmm. But you do have an opinion, don't you? Uh, well... Oh my. So what are we? Are we a skeptic? Are we a believer? Do we acknowledge this? What say you guys? I mean, maybe it's not just about Kala as well, maybe it's just about the supernatural world in general. In which case, we've kind of experienced it a bit ourselves, in a way? I see that between Cinders in this game as well, because it seems like Cinders kind of exist in the same world as us. At least from, uh, I mean, the only way I really know that is because we saw Madame Gate, or someone that looked very much like her anyway. And interestingly enough, she's related to, uh, Galen. So that's very curious indeed. Yes. Alright, what do we got? We have one first. Yeah, first. Yeah, sometimes I get confused, like, wait, was that from the last option or this option? <laughs> so there's two for the first. It starts with cube. Okay. First, anything is possible. Sounds good. I'm leaning towards that direction myself. Really? What's up? I was gonna go for there's no truth in the tales. Well, we don't know that for sure. I know, but I feel like that's what she would say. Hmm, maybe. Because she was like, oh, people think it's magic, but it's like our technology, and she seems very, like, analytical. Yeah, she knows a bit more about what's going on here, but yeah, we shouldn't be overly dismissive. Yeah, we'll be, uh, we'll say anything is possible. Fine. <laughs> well, the crowd has spoken. If I can't be certain, I have to keep my eyes open and prepare for every possibility. It's stupid to rule something out without proper evidence. Exactly. <laughs> She's not pleased. Not you too. I'll tell you another story then. One my tribe is sure of. You know how the winter solstice is coming? They say it's a feminine season. A feminine season? What does that mean? Only wise women can perform rituals and leave the tribe at this time. A man would go insane, as the power waking now is female. Only oh. women are able to harness it. So, does that relate to our friend and why he's going crazy? I don't know. Because it's a feminine power? Why are you preaching something you don't believe? Because by this logic, Arcasia is wrong, even mad. And you should both listen to my feminine wisdom, at least until summer comes. Oh, I see. I am telling you right now, none of these tales are true. Only a fool would believe them. So what was Lev's tale? What did he believe in? Hmm. He was a respected professor who read one book on Kala too many. And that made him go mad just by reading the books. So someone with a trained mind and vast knowledge on the subject believed Kala was real after all? Sounds odd to me. It doesn't make sense. Kala is an obsession. A disease some are prone to. And what you're doing seems awfully similar. Curios curiosity about Kala Steering conversations towards it. Are you feeling well, Yanni? 
I get it. Let's not ask questions. Why don't we remain in the Stone Age while we're at it? Fine, I'll drop the subject for now. Good, let's focus on something more important. Oh. Drinking! Cheers, my favorite pastime. <laughs>